The bribery and corruption case against Dallas County Commissioner John Wiley Price is going to go to the jury tomorrow, but in an unusual move, the judge in the case has signaled that she's prepared to overrule that jury. Andrea Lucia live tonight. Andrea, candidly, something we hardly ever hear, if ever. What's going on? Yeah, Commissioner Price is on trial for tax evasion, bribery, and mail fraud. It's those mail fraud charges specifically the judge has a problem with. They make up six of the 11 charges against Price, and the judge doesn't think the prosecutors have made their case. U.S. District Judge Barbara Lynn warned reporters today if a jury finds John Wiley Price guilty of mail fraud, you might want to wait before reporting it. The judge considered tossing the charges out altogether, but ultimately decided to let the jury weigh in. Still, she said she'd likely overturn a jury's conviction. Quote, the chances are 99.9 .9 that if a jury returns a verdict of guilty on mail fraud, that court is going to enter a judgment. That's pretty rare in my experience. That doesn't happen very often. Former U.S. Attorney Paul Coggins says a judge does have the right to override the jury's decision. It's basically saying the prosecutor either didn't prove an element of a crime or didn't have sufficient evidence of an element of a crime. The U.S. Department of Justice spent years building its case against the county commissioner, but Coggins says it's a difficult and complicated one to make. It's not a got you kind of case. It was a circumstantial case built upon, you know, the government would say fact upon fact upon fact upon fact. Not any one of those was damning in of itself, but the government's trying to argue, well, the whole picture uh, paints a picture of a corrupt official. Well, despite the circumstances here, the jury's decision on those mail fraud charges does matter because if the jury decides to acquit Price, prosecutors can't appeal that decision. If, on the other hand, they decide to convict him and the judge overturns that conviction, prosecutors can and likely will keep fighting. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.